What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel here again, coming at you with more Undertale. In the last episode, we defeated the very flamboyant Metaton EX in what I think may be one of my favorite boss battles in any video game ever. And now, we have arrived at what I believe is the capital of the world of monsters, so we're going to see what is up with this very grayscale area that we're in right now. And as usual, if for some reason you're watching in the middle of this series and you're wondering why I refer to the chat or anyone specifically by their username, is because I am streaming this on Twitch and then putting it on YouTube later. And whoa, listen to this music. It's tranquil as shit, dude. All right, enough of that. Save right here. New home. Okay, this is clearly Toriel's house from the beginning of the game. It's either that, or I've gone... Well, it's either I've gone in a complete circle, or fucking... The King of All Monsters just happens to have an exact layout of Toriel's house. Let's see what this is. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Let's go get those keys. Whoa! Two froggets. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. It wasn't a battle. Guess we're gonna get exposition. Took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. I will do that. Fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Gross. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Okay. There's definitely some connection to Toriel here, not just the layout of this house. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. See, what they, uh, see what's in these boxes, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know, Shadow, why would he bother fucking spraying the keys out if he wanted people to visit him? Or why would he bother locking the thing? Weird. I get this worn dagger. Heart shaped locket, yes. Room under renovations. Man, even this house is a room under renovations, like fucking Toriel's house. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Got both keys. This mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. I've been through a lot, haven't I? Assuming this is the king's room? It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Aw. Whoops. Did not mean to go... Buttons on this controller. Okay. I do have to explain something for those watching on YouTube. I'm actually playing with uh, a USB controller instead of my keyboard this time. Seeing how that works. I'm playing with some kind of controller made by uh, Snakebite. And apparently the buttons are kind of sensitive. So I guess we're going to see how that works out. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Aww. 
The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Yeah, because of the barrier. Can't get out unless you have a monster and a human soul. The next day. The next day. Did he die? The human died. Oh, shit. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Wonder why not? Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Humans have once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Man! No one told me this part of the game was going to give me a boarding pass onto the fuel strain. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that was a lot of exposition we just got. So, the reason that uh, Asgore is trying to collect seven human souls is not just for the freedom of monsters, but also it was out of a fit of grief and rage because his son was killed simply trying to take their adopted human son back to the village so they could see... Their village is flowers? Whoops, my phone just went off. Meant to turn the volume down on this before I start recording. What the fuck? But, yeah. Let's go down here for a second. Oh, that might be an actual thing. What's this elevator? Oh, this is the elevator that was... Okay. So, that's a shortcut. Alright. Last corridor. Yep. This is some endgame shit right here. Oh boy. Hey, wait a minute. 
fucking that, uh, isn't that the, the Delta Rune or whatever the fuck, the, alright, that's a symbol of the royal family, that's the same symbol that was on Toriel, Toriel's the goddamn queen, wasn't she, Toriel's the queen and the mother of Azra, oh my god, yep, fucking yup, I knew there was some connection, up, oh, and I can't move. Oh shit, Sans. Oh no. Is that bell tolling for me? I don't know if I'm ready for this. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. I didn't earn any. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for EXECUTION POINTS! A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh, man. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Did the dot. Be you. You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardship you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Well, a cosmic sort of way, yeah. Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? I don't know. It seems like a lose-lose situation. Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And he just fucking disappears. Oh man. I don't know if I'm ready, you guys. I don't know. Throne room. Oh, let's save the fuck out of this. Let's see what's down here. And there's coffins! Lovely! This isn't morbid or macabre at all. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Dip. That's my fucking coffin! That's a coffin for me! Oh shit. Oh shit, this is real now. Yep, sorry, neighbors passing by, they wouldn't shut up. Uh, but yeah, 
Snappy plays, yeah. The other six human souls are in those... I assume are in those caskets. Or maybe they're just the bodies of the six humans from which the souls are harvested. And the seventh one is for me. Ooh. Seriously. It's fucking creepy as shit. Here we go. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Well, he looks pleasant. Howdy, how can I... Oh. Uh... I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. I wish I didn't. When you are ready, come into the next room. Can we just not, like, get into a big emotional fight to the death? I feel like that's a zero-sum game, if that's the right term. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. I don't think it's anything like that. You're comparing a wisdom tooth to a human soul. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped down underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I'm ready? I see. This is it then. Ready? Oh fuck, there's a six human souls! A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. And it seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with... DETERMINATION! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Whoa! Holy shit! Just destroy my mercy button! Oh fuck. Oh fuck, this is real now. Oh shit. I have no mercy. No, there's gotta be a way to pacifist my way out of this. There has to be. Talk. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Oof. Talk. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Come on, let's let's not fight it, bro. Let's not fight. Let's just have that cup of tea. Whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ. Talk. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. 
Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Nice. Whoa, sweet Jesus. No, 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 no. Ooh, I need to heal. Eat that glam burger. Oof. Call what that was. Okay. Talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. I disagree. Talking do all the good in the world. It's what's gotten me this far. Check. Asgore, 80 attack and defense. Oh, no more details? Woo. Woo. I have a feeling this is gonna get faster. Seems talking won't do any more good. God damn it! Let me mercy you, Asgore! Fuck, 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 fuck! Aw, oh, man. Let me talk to you, motherfucker. Okay, just move, just keep moving, just keep moving. Fuck, I was moving! Oh, for like one frame I wasn't moving and it fucking hurt me. Aw, oh, that sucks. You ate the butter scotch pie, HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack went down. Defense went down. Oh, nice. Fuck, I didn't even think of that. I've had that butterscotch pie the entire time, too. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time to talk. If this does not yield anything different, I don't know that I'm gonna have to fight him, I guess. Seems talking won't do any more good. No. No. No, fuck. Fucking shitty fuck. Okay, I need to get a drink real quick. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to fight him, you guys. I think I've done all the talking I can, and I've lowered his stats a little bit with his stuff, but nothing else is happening, so I think I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh boy, I'm hoping this is one of those things where I can fight him to a certain point and then have the option to spare him. Uh, here we fucking go. Oh wow, this button is way too sensitive. It's like, this controller is not super good. Wow, wow! Fucking that was shitty. Oh man. Okay, well, clearly I cannot be using the button on the controller for my attacks. I think the control stick worked fine. But I'm gonna have to use the Z button on the keyboard for stuff like that. Because obviously I don't think I'm gonna have to use uh, the direction and the Z button in, in, uh... Ah, oh, fuck, what's the word? You know, simultaneously? Okay. Obviously, I want to lower stats first, so I'm talking for a bit. So I have to talk three times, and I can also use the butterscotch pie to heal and lower stats again. But then after that, I think I actually do have to fight. Oh, that was a different dialogue. Like I just told him that he's killed me before, and he's sadly nodded. Whoops. No, 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 no. Where are the gaps in that pattern? Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh, fuck, there's that bullshit. No! Oh my god, I have to heal. It's Butter Scotch Pie. Your HP was maxed out. Spell remind Asgore something. Alright, good. Move! Stay! Good. Talk! You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Okay, I think that was the last, uh... Yep, there we go. The stats are dropping. Okay. So... That's all the stat drops I think I could do. And all the talking I think I can do. So I actually do have to fight him now. Oh, man. Uh, Private Pinecone, Pacifist is someone who does not fight. And the pacifist playthrough of this game means you don't kill anyone. Ooh. 
good 152 damage. It's not bad. Uh, for anyone wondering, I believe I still have the frying pan equipped. Because, um, consumable items will heal four more HP that way. 158? Uh, whoa, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good. I got that stained apron that'll also heal one HP every other turn as long as I don't fuck it up too much. Right. Stay, move, move! Okay. Da 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 da. Aw, oh, they did a little less. Where is the gap? Okay. Aw, oh, damn it! Had to be a little more to the left there. Shit. Okay, I think I can survive one more. Before I have to heal. Oh, that was good. 204 damage. I really don't feel good about fighting him, but if I have to, I will. Damn you, Toby Fox, for making me get invested. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, these are getting faster now. Getting faster and more bullshitty. Stumbling over my words. Right, give me that glam burger. Okay, what's this? Just move for all of them. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep... Aw, oh, man! What, I stop moving to change direction? Seriously, come on. Do, do, do. Yeah, I kind of fucked up my timing. Still good. Still did a good 140. Ah, uh, fuck. One, da, da. Nope. Man, I'm doing less damage because I'm fucking up my aim on that. My timing, rather. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, I don't want to. I think the snowman piece could heal me, but I don't want to use it. If I die this time, I think I'm going to have to go back to MDT Resort and get some more uh, glam burgers. Obviously, I need more healing items. See, that I need to check my boxes. Just keep moving, keep moving. Ah, oh, god damn it! Something about me changing direction for like one frame. It fucking acknowledges that I'm not moving, quote unquote, and then it just fucking damages me. Aw, oh, that wasn't bad. Okay, this one's easy. I'm not I'm not terrible at this one. Whoa! Okay. Crap! I really fucked that one up. Oh, these are so bullshitty now! And they're alternating speeds and rotations! Okay. Da 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 da. Okay, that was a bad. 143. Oh god, I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate. The Damn it! Oh motherfuck! It's a little awkward having Asgore's voice telling me to stay determined in the game over screen, but he's the one who fucking killed me. I don't know. Is that awkward to anyone else? Okay. Check that box. The instant noodles, but it was only heal like what four HP. Um, right, what about the other box? The toy glove, the toy knife, the manly bandana. Nope. Okay, I well, first of all, let me deposit the snowman piece, so I'm not tempted to use that. Deposit the mystery key, so I don't accidentally throw it away because I feel like I might need it for something. And if I'm not going to equip the Worn Dagger and the Heart Locket, let me deposit those also. Okay, so... Yeah, no, Shadow, it was fucking close, right? So what I need to do is real quickly... I'm going to take that elevator shortcut too, but I need to head back to MTT Resort... And see if I have enough money to get a couple of glam burgers. Just I need to get a couple more healing items, basically. There's clearly one glam burger and one butterscotch pie. 
Uh, it's not going to be enough. Whoops. I'm probably going to cut this little track out of the YouTube upload of this. To realize watching me go back and buy items is not uh, terribly entertaining. So. Okay, here we go. MTT. Let's see, I have a hundred. Aw, oh, man, I can only afford like one fucking uh, Glam Burger. Apparently, I could sell stuff to uh, Braddy and Caddy. Let me try that. Well, I guess I need items in my party, don't I? Or my, in my inventory, rather. Um, let's sell that stuff, see if they'll buy it. Oh! The, they're gonna buy the glam burger? What? Oh, so they're not gonna buy it. What the goddamn point? What was the goddamn point of that then? Okay, I need some more money. So I have an idea. The other idea that I have is to uh, see if I can make my way back to uh, Temi Village. So I feel like Temi would buy that. Did I go the wrong way? Crap. Okay, I know there's a way to get... I may have should have gone to L1. So I know there's a way you can, like, get back towards the river person. Who can obviously take me back to Waterfall, and then I can make my way back to Temi Village. So let me go to... L1, actually. You know what, as long as I'm doing all this backtrack, I may as well fucking use that mystery key. So, yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, let me get that out of my box. Because I have a feeling that that is for the house next to Napstabluke in Waterfall. As you remember, there was a house next to Napsabluke, which was locked. So I think the fact that we got the mystery key here... Um, is pretty... pretty important. Did you ever hear the old song coming from the sea? No. Let's go. Let's see if I can sell to you. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Aw. Well, I heard if you want to sell stuff. Yep, Temi Village. Okay. I have an idea. Now, what if I buy a couple things from you? Whoops, carrying too much. Alright, well... Buy a couple things... ...from you, sell them to... ...Temi... Oh, wait, here's the thing. And then, uh, see how much she buys it for. It's locked. I have to use the... like, actually use it, use it? 
Use the mystery key. The red, uh, red house's door was unlocked. Ooh. Key disappeared. Uh. Okay. Uh, I can't go any further in the room? These fucking books are like an invisible barrier. Okay. Let's check it out. Dear Diary, Sharon's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay, so whoever this is uh, apparently formed some kind of performance group with Napsabluk and Shiren, who was one of the monsters in uh, Waterfall. One who liked to hum and sing. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. Yeah, that's efficient. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Or will you? My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted a, uh, that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. Wait a minute. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Are they talking about Alphys? Was Alphys the person who came to the Human Fan Club? Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Whoops. That's all that was. Last one. Dear Diary, she, su uh, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I can finally feel like... myself. After all, there's no way I could be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Oh my god, this is fucking Metaton's house! Metaton was a ghost. He met Alphys at a human fan club meeting. She agreed to build him a body. And so he inhabited the body that she built and became a corporeal being. Which would make him Maps of Luke's cousin. And I guess both of them the cousin of the ghost that um, wanted to be a training dummy. But yeah. Metaton was a ghost. Damn. That's, uh... Yeah, I haven't really messed around with the phone call feature recently. Somehow, I feel like Papyrus might have something to say about this because... Yeah, I guess you're supposed to use the phone call thing to see what the other characters might have to say. Let's just see. For shits and giggles. Ring, ring. What? You broke into Naps of Luke's cousin's house? That's... That's... Hey, what was their name, anyway? Hapster Luke, the Happy Ghost! Okay, that's definitely wrong. It's not wrong! It's just my head cannon. Okay. So, uh, I guess there's not, like, a canon name, but according to uh, Papyrus' head canon, the ghost's name was originally Habstabluke, but I don't know if that's correct, because I'm not, I just said it was wrong. Um, but yeah, Metaton is a ghost. Uh-huh. Or was a ghost, I guess. He was a ghost, became corporeal, or corporeal, by inhabiting a body of a robot built by Dr. Alphys, so he can become a TV star. I 
And now I gotta try and find my way back to Tammy Village. It's in this room that I find the path. I don't think I went the... Yeah, I don't think I went the right way. Gotta go down the other path on this fork. Because I know the path to Tem Village is in this room. You see if I can sell stuff so I can buy more healing food. Basically. Hey, uh, YoloCast12, welcome to the stream chat. And the stream in general. Alright, sell. Uh, cloudy glasses. Let's try to see if I can get her to do it for more. Whoa! You got a cloud glasses? Hmm, gotta have those cloud glasses, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm. Tim always wanted cloud glasses. No. But. Yeah. There we go. Sell this toy knife. Yeah, I'm selling the less useful items. Basically, I just need money for uh, healing items for the Asgore battle. What about the Mandana? The reason I'm saying no at first is because I, I swear you could have, uh... Hmm. Okay. Do I have anything in my other box? Alright, that's an A. Could I sell the instant noodles? Yeah, but only for 50. Trying to get back, uh, trying to get back to, uh, the Burger Emporium now. Care for a ride? Yes, I would like a ride. We are going to Hotland. <laughs> I really like this boat animation. Tra -la, la what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. Thanks for the ride. Okay. Don't remember where exactly all the elevators lead to in Hotlands, so I'm assuming if I go to R3, it'll bring me back to. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. And we're back in the resort. Alright, let's see here. Let's get one of these star fades as well. Alright. Now I gotta make my way back. Oh, the elevator's in use. Fuck off. I guess it's not the right elevator. I gotta use the one in here. Oops, that was my one. We gotta, gotta use the one past this room.
Shadow, I don't trust you telling me to get dog salads because the last time you tried to help me when it came to dog-based items. Okay, let's save here. Stress again. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be, Your Highness. That animation really is so fucking cool, though. I can't even lie. That is so cool. Okay, let's do it. I talk three times so I can lower his stats. And then you need the butterscotch pie so I can do, uh, lower it again. And then it should be good to start fighting. You tell us where these killed you twice before. He nods sadly. Oof. It's close. You tell us where you don't want to fight him. This breathing gets funny for a moment. Ooh, fuck, I almost dodged all those. Okay. Uh, one more talk. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. Aw, oh, man. Alright, time to eat that pie. It's better scotch pie. Your HP is maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down, Asgore's defense down. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Oof, okay. Time to fight. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I fucked that up. I did not do good on that one. Okay, these ones I'm pretty good at. Just give me a lot of these and I'll be fine. This music is so fucking hype, though. Like, it fits the mood so well. Whoa, whoa! The smoothness! The smoothness of that dodge. Nice. Stay, move, stay! Oh, fuck. I thought I was fucking moving. Move. I moved and stopped moving too soon. That was the problem. Uh, okay. Wow, I fucked that up. Wow, not even a hundred. Shit, shit, shit. Man, I am really fucking up. Get the star fade out of the way. Okay, this one I'm good at. This one I'm good at. I like this one. Whoa! I say as I almost get hit by it. Okay, there we go. I'm doing a little better at that. Oh, these are starting to get faster and more, or more bullshitty. I'm stumbling over my words. Oh, that was good. 215. Okay. Move, move, stay. Ah. Really for like a frame too long. Almost perfect. 155. Okay. Oof. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Son of a okay. Almost had that one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. Fuck me. Ugh. Okay, I can survive one more, I think, for it to heal. Oh, that's some bullshit! Okay. Oof, okay. Didn't get damaged. I can do one more. 
As long as I don't die. Okay. Fuck! Give me that glam burger. Okay, this one's good. This one's good. Fucking nailed that one. Oh, perfect hit! 205. Shit, shit! Wow, that is fast! That is so fast now! Jesus! Need to get more solid 200 hits. Okay. Wow, that- what the fuck? Are you kidding me? It's getting so bullshitty now. Fucking hell. Okay. Move, stop, stop fucking. Moving for a frame too long. Fuck. Fuck up my express. Okay, whoa. 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 Okay. 281. Okay. Gradually doing more damage. Oh, fuck. I actually got hit by one of those. Ah. Didn't do that good. Gotta make up for it now. Shit. Okay, I think I can survive one more before I heal. Oh, shit. I really fucked that up. That was bad. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Eat that glam burger. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Okay, he survived a sliver of HP. He's not dead. He's not dead. Please give me the option to spare him. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, so, that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. Whoops. Actually, I skipped that. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. No, they just killed six humans and harvested their souls. I can see where you're coming from. I don't condone it, and you still acted like an asshole. I'm just saying I can see his mindset going into it. I just wanted everyone to have hope, but I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, take, uh, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Oh, shit. The mercy button has been rebuilt. Still got mercy, buddy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family, ah.
had to get a drink for a second. Also was kind of listening to that music box. But yeah, how are we going to be a family if your wife hates you? I feel like that might be kind of a road bump. Let's do it. Let's be a family. What? 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 No. No. What? What? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, oh fuck, he stole the human souls. It's kill or be killed. Flow, you motherfucker. You motherfucker, Fla- The game closed. The game just closed. 